Yes, I have a wonderful nation that is called lexicons. Lexicons means phrasal verbs, proverbs, international vocabularies. So today I will teach you some handy proverbs. You can say very important proverbs. Those are used in our day-to-day -day life. So the first one is very powerful. Where there is a will, there is a way. Means friends, if you have a strong determination to find anything, seriously, I'm telling you, one day, sooner or later, you will achieve that. Because in Hindi it is said that Jahan cha hai mahara. Just you need a strong determination, willpower. Nobody can stop you. And next one, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. It means, guys, if you don't have any job, you are free. So definitely some different ideas, maybe some negative ideas will come in your mind. So that's why people say that an idle mind is a devil's workshop. It means in Hindi friends, you can say Khali Dimak Shaita. So it's my humble request to all of you, always make yourself engaged in some positive and constructive job, not in negative job. Third one is very powerful. To rest is to rust. It means friends, if you really want to achieve something big, something great in your life, so you have to keep on working, keep on working, keep on working. Don't take rest. Take rest, but never give up. Because it is said in Hindi, Aram Haram. Means to rest is to rest. To rest is to rust. Guys, the fourth one is based on money. That is a very striking factor in this world. People think that money is everything. Someone has said, money begets money. Money begets money. It means friends, if you have some money and you can apply, invest in your business, so you can earn a lot of money with the help of some money. It means dhan se dhan kamai. But to earn money, you have to spend money. You have to invest money. Friends, next one is regarding love. And love is the very strongest feeling in this world. And that is called everything is fair in love and war. Right? Someone has said, Mahabhat or Zangmi Sakko Chai. Nowadays people say everything is fair in love, war and business. But I don't recommend this guys. Everything is fair, I agree. Means everything is fair, it means you have to make efforts as much you can. To do something positive, to do something constructive, not destructive. It doesn't mean everything is fair, it doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want. But it should be constructive and positive. That is fruitful for you as well as for society, for others also. So friend, everything is fair in love and bond. The next is quite practical friend. People said that <clears throat> strong ones are always humble. Vidya Dirati Vinayam. It means the guys who have sound knowledge, they are very humble, they are quite humble, I mean, they speak very less. On the other hand, the guys who has little knowledge, the friends who have a little knowledge, they try to show up, they try to speak more and more. It means, guys, you can say, an empty vessel makes much noise means or you can say Adhijal Gagari next guys friends next I have it takes two to make a quarrel it means guys there is no quarrel without two persons it means if something is going on, any action is going on, so it requires two parties. Now, there must be the cooperation of two people. If I contribute, if I help you, so you must help me, your friend. This cooperation must be each other. Because one way relationship, one way cooperation will no run for a long time. Will not run for a long time. 
in Hindi, or like to say friends, Tali ek haan se nahi basta. Hence, cooperation must be from two sides. Two-way. Two-way cooperation, not one-way cooperation. It will not go for long. Guys, the next proverb is regarding friend. <coughs> Guys, in our life we have many friends. But how many of them are true? Means, how many of them are true? Kitne loo usme sachche? So you can say, a friend in a need is a friend indeed. Friends indeed means in fact, in real, really, candid. There is a word candid. It means friend, the people who cooperate you at the real time, at the right time, means you are in need, you are in problem. So you can tell them, you are my candid friend, you are my genuine friend. That's why he said that a friend in need is a friend in need. Means, in Hindi, I like to speak friends. Jo zarurat ke wakt kaam aate hai, wahi sachche dost hote hai. Means, the person who helps you in your adverse time, in your days of problem, in your days of rainy, they are your real friends. It means, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Now next, I personally feel this is the most powerful proverb in the world. Because friends, if you are making a lot of commitments, if you are making many more promises, but you are not doing anything in action. So it all promises, all promises will be fruitless. But friends, you are not making promises, you are doing many actions that is fruitful for you, fruitful for others. So people will say, yes, actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. It means friends, if you do a small job without making a lot of commitment, so it would be more powerful rather than making a lot of fake promises. That's why it is said that actions speak louder than words. Last but not least friend, I love this proof. Good mind, good find. It means friend, if you have wonderful thoughts in your mind, if you are feeling very healthy in your mind, you are mentally fit, physically fit, seriously I am telling you, the whole world will look so beautiful for you. And seriously friend, if you are not fit, physically, maybe you are having some stress, few stress in your mind, so seriously, I'm telling you, friend, you'll not be able to enjoy the world. It means everything will look dry, monotonous to you. Because, because someone has said, friend, good mind, good find. It means if you are good, if you have beautiful thoughts in your minds, the whole world will look you so beautiful. In Hindi, I like to say, bhala to bhala. So, Eventually, I like to recommend you friends, do have beautiful thoughts in your mind. Don't give space to the negative thoughts in your mind, friends. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this lesson of mine. Implement in your day-to-day -day communication. Learn more and more. Focus on lexicons and brush up your communication. I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care of you. And some student asked me, hey, sir, when will be your next video? So simply I would like to say then, please press the bell icon, you will get all the notifications. Naratra is going on, so I would like to wish my all candidates, all club members, everybody on this planet, happy Naratra and best of luck everybody.